Hi guys, I'm Allison from Crafting Boss, and today I'm going to show you how you can use heat transfer vinyl along with your Cricut to design t-shirts and other apparel. Alright, so some of the things that you're going to need today. A t-shirt or whatever apparel you're going to be ironing on, the heat transfer vinyl and the colors that you've selected, a cutting machine, today I'll be using my Cricut, along with my design space. I also have an ironing and an ironing board ready to go. The first step in the process is going to be figuring out what you want to design. You're going to want to use your design space to upload images or text or a logo or other document from your computer. Once you have all that loaded into the design space, you're going to want to size it to the appropriate size. In this case, since I'm going to be designing a small t-shirt with my company logo, I've sized my design to be about 8 inches wide by just over 2 inches high. Now that I'm happy with the size and placement of my design, I'm going to come to the upper right hand corner and click the green make it button. This will take me to the next screen. On this screen, I'm able to see exactly how my HTV needs to be positioned on my Cricut map in order to cut the full image. One thing that's really important to remember for every HTV project is to hit the mirror for iron on button. What this does is flip the numbers so that you're not ironing on in reverse. After you've done this, you're going to come to the bottom right hand corner and click continue. At this time, I go and I grab my Cricut map and I get my HTV in place where it needs to go. Okay, so for my design, I'm actually going to be using two different colors. So I'm going to be positioning them as they would need to be once the image is mirrored. You'll notice that for my pink and my white, there is a white back side for both and then a clear plastic side for each. You're going to want to make sure that the clear plastic is the side that goes face down. So now I'm going to work on getting my vinyl into place. And now I'm ready to load into the machine and start cutting. Okay, once your HTV is on your mat and in place, you're going to want to make sure you set the dial on your Cricut to iron on. Once you see that iron on has correctly been selected, you can load your machine. You'll do this by taking your mat, holding it flush to the bar, and hitting the blinking button. Once the machine has adjusted itself, you'll see the Cricut button start flashing. Your next step is to press the Cricut button to start your cut. Once your machine's done cutting, you're going to want to hit the flashing button again to release the mat from the Cricut. The next step is to take your weeding tool and weed out your excess HTV. So once your mat's been removed from your Cricut, you're going to want to peel your HTV off the mat and start weeding. Weeding basically means removing any extra material that you don't want iron on your shirt. You'll see that while I'm pulling up the extra material, the clear plastic backing is staying in place. All right, when you're done, you're going to want to peel your design off your mat. All right, so once your design is fully weeded, the next step is to prep your shirt for ironing. What I've done is I've laid out the shirt that I plan to use, and I've used chalk and a ruler to measure the center of where I'd like my design to be placed, and then also measured and marked the center of the shirt. When going to iron my design on, this will help me with placement, that way it's absolutely perfect when it's done. Okay, so your next step is to get your iron on and warm, 
and get your t-shirt in place. Now we're going to take our design and sticky side down, you're going to use your graph to position your design on top of the shirt. You're going to press your design onto the shirt. The next step is to take either a white cloth or even a white pillowcase will suffice. You're going to put it over your design and then you're going to take your iron and you're going to apply pressure. This process will take approximately 30 to 45 seconds depending on how thick or thin the lines are in your design and how hard you're pressing. What I've noticed is that thinner lines usually take a little bit longer to iron on than thicker lines. One thing I forgot to mention is that you want to make sure that with your iron settings you have it on a no steam setting. When you feel like you've ironed enough, you can pull up your sheet cover and slowly peel up around the edges. You'll be able to tell pretty quickly if you need to iron more or if your iron-on iron letters are fastened well to the shirt. You're going to slowly peel at an angle. And if you find any spots that stick, you just want to go back over them lightly with the iron. After you've pulled off your plastic sheet, you're going to want to make sure that you put your pillow clay case or white cotton towel back on top of the design and re-iron for another 10 to 15 seconds. This just ensures that your design is placed on the shirt extra well. After that, you're all set to wash and wear. And here's our finished product. If you liked today's tutorial, please make sure to like, comment, share, and also follow our YouTube channel for more great videos. If you want even more information, head over to craftingboss.com where you can check out some of my free guides, tutorials, our great business and marketing workshops, and other great tools. Alright, see you in the next video!